Hey guys, it's Doug Dept here. And just real quick, I wanna to talk to you guys about my three favorite contingencies to use when it comes to purchasing a property. And a contingency is basically a way where you can actually get out of the contract, out of the agreement of sale. So one of the contingencies is financing approval. So that's basically a bank willing to finance the deal based off of, you know, they might have to come out and do an appraisal, make sure the deal makes sense, make sure that it passes the 65% rule. Um, and for any reason, if it does not, then the bank would typically, or the funder would give you something called a turn down letter. So these are very easy. Um, you just call your bank, say, hey, I need a turn down letter. So that way I can basically get out of the deal and get my earnest money deposit back. Because every time you do a contract the agreement of sale, you have to put some money up in order for the contract to be valid. So you got your financing approval. You also have your partner's approval. So your partner approval could be, you know, anyone, you know, in the, in the contract, they don't know exactly who your partner is. It could be your dog, it could be your cat, or it could be your significant other. Um, so for whatever reason, if your partner says, hey, you know what, I don't want to move forward with this deal, then that's a way out if they accept that partner approval. The third one being an inspection. An inspection can be done by, you know, if you have a contractor, if you have an engineer, an architect, just to walk through the building, and upon their approval, they say, hey, this is a bad deal then you're able to use that to get out of that contract and get your earnest money back. So make sure your contracts are very easy to understand, but also put in these contingencies so that we're not on the hook for that earnest deposit. But me personally, I have every intention on closing all of my deals, but this is just in case, you know, something comes up where I need to wiggle out the deal. There you have it. That's how you use contingencies to get out of an agreement of sale.